Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. Been a minute since I've been on here. Sorry about that. You probably forgot what I looked like, but uh, we haven't had the best weather. Finally got us a sunny day here. Nice, clear, hardly any clouds in the sky, just that huge one over there. But uh, so we've got a special video today. Today is the first time in I don't know how many years since the camper market went all crazy and all that i've actually had the three largest truck campers that lance produces i've got the 975 the 1172 and the 1062 and then i actually have another 1172 and one just snuck in down that way too so i got three of them bad boys over here one 1062 and one 975 975 is sold but uh all the others are available so if you got a long bed dually uh which is going to be your 350 3500 450 series long bed dualies that's what all these work with then come see me if you're in the market for one of these um but we're actually only going to be going over the inside of these i feel like this would probably be an hour-long video if we did the outside roof and you know inside so we're just going to be going over the inside we'll start with the 975 over here Okay, so we're actually gonna start out with the 975. Before we hop in there, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know a little bit about this unit here. Uh, this one starts out at 3,675 pounds dry. So like I said over there on the other side of the camper, you're gonna need a long bed dually to haul any of these. Uh, I don't know of many single rear wheel, one ton long beds that you know can handle this. And if it does have the payload for it, you're always gonna be better with more meat on the ground anyways. So. Another reason is because that 36, nearly 3,700 pounds dry, that's before you add all the extra equipment like uh, uh, the awnings, the solar panels, the batteries, the generator, stuff like that, propane. Um, you can easily bump up another 400 pounds just in equipment. So uh, this one's gonna be around the 4,090 mark dry weight. This one that we're about to look at with all the equipment. So that's why I say you need a long bed dually with these. Also, if you're interested in the 975, the 2023 start out at $70,625. Um, I never fail to mention price, so I know whenever somebody mentions it in the description below, you're just bumping through the video. All right, so this is one of the dry bath models. The three largest are the three dry bath models. So everything we are looking at today is gonna have a dry bath. But uh, the 975, the way it's laid out is one of my favorites. That's why I had one. Uh, we'll just start over here in the kitchen area. Uh, you got this garbage can right at the entry here. So if you're at the campfire with the boys and girls, uh, you don't have to travel far to throw your cans away. Then you just kick it with the foot on in. It holds a bunch of crushed empties. All your external lights are gonna be right here on the walk-in, docking lights, entry light, backup camera slide out power all that good stuff key rack holder name fits the description holds the keys another thing i really like about this model is it has two power awnings uh 2023 the side power awning standard the rear one is optional so you can have up to two power awnings on this uh, model camper and they both have the LED awning white strips at the end, which is really cool. You can get an onboard generator on this model, just like the other two I'm about to show you. All your servicing, uh, like control centers right here, uh, water pump, water heater on gas and electric, battery levels, you check them right there, fresh black gray water levels, you check them all on that one panel. 975 is gonna have a 45 gallon fresh water tank. 30 gallon gray and 26 gallon black water. There we go, got some more light. There's a radio that doesn't play Bluetooth. Maybe 2023 will have something that has Bluetooth. But this 975 has plenty of storage. I really like the storage in the kitchen area. You've got all this underneath, you know, uh, sink storage, the storage above uh, the sink over there by the microwave that we just checked out storage right in here if you like a slide out pantry style you can always get little baskets to slide in there and serves the same purpose 
pull out drawers these are angled they pull out sideways not straight out at you I had a user in the comments before tell me this is a good place to store whiskey three burner stove top this is all standard with the 975 models uh, oven it's got a little sparker built into it you don't have to stick a lighter down in it but uh, I don't know if I showed you the microwave if I did sorry for showing you twice there it is all right so the dinette you for this year model it was you know Java Royal and Platinum that you had to choose from 2023 it's going to be like 22 uh, uh, let's see shoot lapis Grayson and bronzite so they changed up the colors a little bit this is a used camper so colors are going to be a little different but as far as specs pretty much everything else is the same um, this one here the 975 you can convert this into a bed the dinette area it makes for a 44 by 78 inch bed they say that this camper is rated for up to four people you can put two on the dinette if they're close and two in the bed if they're close when I had mine it was me and my brother camping I had the bed he was down here in no way I'm sharing with him day and night shades that's all standard on these uh, new model campers for this year model it was actually an option uh, let's see you've got pull out drawers underneath both of these benches to unlock them all you do is press that button unlocked pull out vice versa for locking well you gotta make sure you push it in there you go cork board a lot of people hang picture frames over that i don't know anybody that actually uses it i tried to use it never did six cubic foot fridge plenty of room for beer in there and everything else that people you know use fridges for uh, this is where I put all my TV dinners but yeah decent size uh, freezer there and like I said this model here is a dry bath model here we go now I can see what y'all are seeing shower area totally separated from the toilet and then up in here you also have some storage there's your toilet paper holster i just banged the gopro with that door pull out drawer decent countertop space uh, somewhere over here you have a yep ac plug in and then some more uh like a little medicine cabinet i believe is what you call that towel holder almost missed that then you have the queen size bed up here little closet off to the right let's see what else do I need to show you up here you got some storage over here to the left you can take them shelves out if needed if you got better ideas for it a little flip up storage there uh, countertop with a pull out drawer and for my CPAP users yes you got an AC plug in over here along with USB and DC outlets and AC plug in over here to the right you've got more ports up there for a second TV so yep oh and headspace is unreal look how much headspace you have i'm 6'1 and i've got plenty of headroom i mean going into the bed <laughs> trying to show you how much headspace you have and then i go and bang my head on that but yeah you got good headroom up here just watch it coming down the ac out the door you don't have to watch anything you just walk out that's it simple and easy as that uh plus these are four season certified too okay so now we can move on to the 1062 here that's going to be next on the list here it's another dry bath model again all three of these campers i'm about to show you are dry baths all four season certified all that good stuff so this next one it advertises on the website at 3671 pounds dry by the time you load it up with uh you know options that you're going to want this one's actually 4103 pounds that's with uh, options like the generator uh, solar panels batteries stuff like that so by the time you add weight or uh, add your options to it you're just adding weight so that's why i recommend long bed dualies for all these models uh let's see what else uh starting price is going to be seventy three thousand four hundred twenty four dollars on the retail side 
Uh, it's three thousand dollars more than the 975 and i guess we can get to it let's check this thing out okay so this one obviously is a lot more wide on the inside you have a side slide here and a side slide over there on the driver's side and they open up opposite of each other so that's what makes it feel so roomy inside i mean this thing's huge it's like a little apartment I don't think huge and little go in the same sentence, but anyways, I forget I just said that. All right, so you have the dinette over here to the right, and what I was trying to explain over there in the 975, this is the new colors. This is going to be for 2023. This is a 22 model Lance uh, 1062, so colors are not changing going into 23, as far as I've been told anyways. Now, I should have my first ones here within a month to show you guys, so look out for that. But the dinette on this one, it's the same exact size as the one in the 11, or, uh, 975. It's going to be 44 inches by 78 inches. So, and like I said over there, rated for four people to sleep. Uh, you got two on the dinette, two in the bed. If you're close and can handle each other. So, All right, so the shades on this model are different. You got your night shades. And day shades and when I say different I meant different from that 21 model Lance 975 but uh, the kick out windows I love these things they kick out so far I'll show you on another window where I can kick it out probably over there in the kitchen we'll look at that but uh, same drawers pull out underneath the dinette same locking mechanism super easy and then you Press that to lock it. Bunch of storage over here to the left. Countertop space, I think that's awesome. But I mean, look at all this storage. I mean, storage is really important in a truck camper. It can also be dangerous though, because then you can you know, take a lot of stuff with you, and then you're going to be putting yourself overweight real quick. So it can be, it can be good and bad. A little solar panel, control panel up there. We'll look over here now. All right, so this is a differently laid out bathroom than the 975 and 1172. This one's really cool. You just step in right there. Uh, you got fiberglass walls and then the uh, liner at the bottom. So I thought that was really cool about this one. I think it's even bigger. I mean, it looks bigger than the 975's uh, shower area. So that's really cool. Then you have your little toilet over there, plenty of leg room sink over here in the corner toilet paper holster right here behind the door a little bit of storage and then i thought that the integrated wall storage was really really cool as well really good idea medicine and medicine cabinet but yeah that's pretty much it inside the bathroom here Moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen's what sells this model over the others uh, for people that like to cook and stuff. You have more prep area. Go ahead and throw this down. You have a lot more prep area in this camper where the others you kind of have to use what you got in the kitchen and then use the dinette also. I did all my prepping outside and used to grill, but for people that cook inside their campers, uh, this is a great setup. Like I said, you have the three burner stove top on this one, oven, bunch of countertop space. It's a single sink, not a split. Trash can right here. So even this one has the trash can. I don't, the 1172 does not. Built in storage in the wall. Like I said, I thought that was really awesome couple pull out drawers for storage all this there's your winterization tube get that out of the way there you go so that's pretty much what the kitchen's all about got the uh you know microwave up here in the corner but yeah the kitchen's mainly what sells this one and the open area it feels a lot bigger inside Onboard generator, all three of these models are going to have that option. Uh, battery levels, fresh water, black water, gray water, just like in the 975, except 
On this one, you have a 45 gallon freshwater tank, 27 gallon gray water, and a 22 gallon black water tank. Got your TV up here in the corner in the bed, swings towards the bed and swings towards the dinette as well. This one also has a 60 by 80 inch queen size mattress, radio that doesn't play Bluetooth, a uh, couple little compartments here over to the left, closet to the right, pop up compartment, and same ordeal here as the 975. You got your countertop there with the pull out drawer, AC plug ins over here with the USB and DC outlet, and same over here. So the bed area. It's almost the same as the 975. Except what I notice is how much more open the slot is to get into the uh, bed area. So that's really cool. Same sort of fridge. These are Norcold fridges. They are three-way. So they run on propane, DC, and AC. But yeah, that's the 1062. Hope I didn't skip over anything. Don't think I did. Let's go check out the 1172. That's the largest one. Okay, before we go inside the 1172, I'm going to go over a few little things. Uh, this one starts out at 4,318 pounds dry. Uh, again, that's before all the added equipment like generators, solar panels, and blah, 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 like everything else I said in the other two introductions to the camper. So uh, by the time you you know get this one loaded with options, you're going to be in that 4,600 pound range. This is the heaviest one and definitely requires the dually so uh oh yeah also this one starts out at eighty three thousand five hundred and twenty six dollars for 2023 four season rated now let's go in so as soon as you walk in here i thought this one was really cool keeps the batteries inside now, those are two lithium batteries by the way twenty six hundred dollar option but easy to get to right there all your controls for the lights and everything are over here to the right. Slide control for the rear, and then the side one's controlled on the remote. So this is the only one that has the rear couch. There's only one other uh, camper in the production that you can actually even get a comparable couch, and it doesn't fold down uh, futon style. It's the 960. You can get two captain's chairs, or you can get the theater seating. But this one is like a futon style, it, or you can ch call it a jackknife sofa. It makes it into a bed. They say that this one sleeps up to six. Got some nice storage over here to the left of the couch. Plenty of Dorito bag storage. Sandwich, uh, bread, and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought that this was really cool. These don't recline. They actually just kick out kind of like a footrest. All right, so the kitchen in this one's totally different than the others. Uh, you have the side entry, so of course you can't have the kitchen right there like the 975. But on this model, it's different from the other two because you can actually do an oven or you can do a convection microwave. So if you choose the, this one has the oven obviously. If you choose the convection microwave, you lose the oven, the convection microwave goes here and then you gain storage just like this right here. I don't think I gave you a good look at that. Here's, it'll be similar to that. And it just takes the place right here, no microwave. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I always forget to show this little drawer underneath the oven. So while I was thinking about, I'll show you that. Okay, so you have a little bit of countertop space here, not near as much as the 1062. But you do have this countertop extension. So, got a little bit of extension there. I don't know what else you're going to be doing right here. Maybe chopping onions or something like that. I don't know. Uh, set the kit up on it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what kind of weight limit that has. But this is a single sink as, as well, not split. Some people like to split better. Uh, you can obviously remove these right here. If you need to use the sink or if you need more prep space, you just put the sink covers back on. But you've got some storage under here. And when I say some, that's a lot of storage. So definitely a lot of storage under there. Got a little bit of storage over here to the left of the microwave also. And then day and night shades, obviously like the other one. 
AC plugins right there in the back for your crock pot, Instapot, Keurig, all that good stuff. Uh, moving down the side over here, we've got our solar panel ordeal here telling us how many amps are going to the batteries. Control center, and this one's uh, different from the other two. So you got the 42 gallon freshwater tank, 35 on the black and 35 on the gray water as well. Uh, this one also has the onboard generator. Generally, any camper that offers a onboard generator as an option, we're going to add it. So, uh, we'll go over the dinette now. This is the lapis interior. So, if you're a fan of this interior color, this one's called lapis. If you're a fan of the uh, uh, 1062 over there, that was bronzite. Uh, but same as the you know 1062 and 11 or and 975 the 1172 also offers the underneath storage here for the benches so i had like a tongue twister moment uh, for some reason this one actually is a little bit different when made into a bed this one measures 44 by 71 inches so don't really know it's different i thought that this would have been identical to the 975 because I, I thought that the whole slide was the same but I guess something's a little different here for this one to be about seven inches shorter so this one has the fold down bunk option show you what that looks like okay so this is the fold down bunk it is an added option you don't have to get it most people do get it not necessarily for what it's called the bunk bed most people get it just for storage this can handle up to 200 extra pounds uh, if you do have children that go with you and you do want to use this for, you know, a bed, like it's called, then a lot of people ask if there's like some sort of cushion that Lance sells to uh, put on here. Um, I'm not sure of one through Lance. I've never seen one through Lance. I'm sure that you could get it through some sort of secondary company though. But uh, yeah, it does hold up to 200 pounds, so that's awesome. A lot of people will put their external you know camping equipment up here while they're traveling and then take it out put it outside while they're camping and fold this back up and just like the 975 you have the swing out tv right there swings towards the dinette and the bed up there got you some storage for magazines and dvds got your three-way fridge over here just like the 975 runs on gas dc and ac There you go and identical to the 975 here's your bathroom it is a dry bath just like the other two there's me in the mirror but uh yes you have the same amount of storage there's your toilet paper holster they had it right there so you don't get it wet sink a little bit of countertop space AC plug-ins, shower rod holder, little medicine cabinet. And last but not least, you have a little jump step to hop up in the bed. This is a 60 by 80 inch mattress, just like the others, true queen size. A little bit of storage over here to the left. Radio, a little bit of storage. Got a couple ceiling titties up here on the ceiling. There's me again. Um, no, those are actually speakers. Let me open this up. There we go. There's your TV box. Nice little size closet though. There is no AC plugins on this model up here on the left. So everything is over here on the right. Yeah, right up there. Then you have more AC plugins up there. Pop up storage. Another pop up storage. But yeah, I thought it was weird. The other two models have AC plugins over here, and that one doesn't. Nice skylight placement, so your feet can see the stars. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the three largest models that Lance produces. Like I said, I haven't had these three here on my lot at the same time in years. I don't know how long it's been actually. Okay, my camera died somewhere between you know me showing the inside in the camper and then parting ways with you here at the end of the video so uh i'll pick up where i think it left off i have three 1172s here in stock if you're interested in any of in the 1172 i have one 1062 in stock 
and I have two 975s on the way. They will be true 23 models with the Truma collaboration and everything. So if you're interested in any of those models and have a long bed dually, give me a call, 423-892-6272. I'd be more than happy to help you. If you're interested in a smaller model camper, have a smaller truck, a three quarter ton or one ton short bed or anything like that. You have a truck and you're interested in a truck camper, just call me. Like I said, 423-892-6272. My email will be in the description below. But I, uh, I beg you that you call me because we can get a week's worth of emails done in five minutes on the phone. And if you're interested in a camper and want to buy one, you're going to have to call me anyways if you want to buy one. So just call me. It's easy. I can't buy it over the phone. So there's that. Uh, but hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. Something like that. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can call me. You can comment. I try to answer all the comments that I can see. Sometimes I don't see all of them. So uh, forgive me if I don't uh, reply. And uh, let's see. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Join this Fish and Fun family. I think we're a little over 25,000 now. That's awesome. So uh, let's continue to grow. And if for some reason you want to see another video from me, you can hit the notification bell and it'll even let you know when I upload another video. Pretty neat, right? But uh, yeah, it's kind of all I got. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.